Hi everyone and welcome to this short series on using iMovie for iPad. We're going to go through a few different features of this app and starting today with just getting started, opening up and uh, starting a project. So um, here it is in the App Store, iMovie, you can download it if you don't have it already. And uh, when you open it, you'll have this uh, page here with any movies that you've already made um, or the chance to start a new project. So you've got three options here and we're going to go into more detail um, about some of these now. But most of these movies will be about using iMovie to create a movie from scratch and all the different editing techniques uh, that goes along with that. But first of all, let's have a look at some of these other options. We've got Magic Movie here where you can choose media from your photos and iMovie creates a movie for you. Uh, you can see I've already got a couple of those here um, just generated from things that are in my uh, photos album in my, uh, on my device. So this is one uh, from recent trip abroad and uh, you can see here if we just go into editing this movie these are all the pictures that uh, iMovie has just kind of gathered from my photos album uh, based on the location and put it all together and you can just leave it as it is it already comes with a, a bit of music as well and um, you can also go in and edit some of those uh, photos as well so if you don't want a particular one then you can delete it um, you can change the transitions you can change the music but it's a really good starting point um, just for something really quick and easy to create so that's magic movie uh, the other options you've got here at the start uh, are storyboard and movie. So storyboard, you can um, choose a template from one of these options. Uh, if you've got something specific in mind that you want to make a movie about. Uh, so let's say you wanted to do uh, a trailer for a movie. Uh, you can choose the style, as you can see here, press create. And then you've got uh, an outline that you can create here with the different characters um, and the credits as well. And then you've got your storyboard. It tells you how to approach this and what shots to use. Uh, so for example, the first one could be a girl and then a boy and then both together, action, action, a medium shot. So you've got this example of a, a timeline or a, an outline for your trailer. So that's very useful. Anyway, today we are going to start a new movie so this is just creating a movie from scratch and then you can choose the photos and the videos that you want to include in that. So here's my album of photos uh, that I've got already on my iPad um, and we can start to choose a few of these uh, to include in the movie. So let's just choose this row here uh, and then we can press create movie. Okay, so we'll download those photos, start creating the movie and then we've got them here in the timeline at the bottom. So this is the timeline here where uh, all the photos, the videos that you choose uh, will end up and you can select more from your, from your moments, from your photos library, um, video or even your files if you've got images and, and video saved in your files app on your iPad. Um, you can choose them from there as well. And anything that you select to add into your movie will appear here in the timeline at the bottom. Now one thing you'll notice um, as I play the video is that uh, we've got a little bit of movement here. Um, so a bit of kind of shifting and zooming, which is something that iMovie does automatically. Um, you can turn that off quite easily just by selecting the photo. Um, and it's this feature here called Ken Burns. And you just disable that and that'll stop any movement if you wanted to. Um, so that applies to, to photos, obviously a bit different to videos as well. Um, anything that we want to undo we can use this button here the undo button and it will go back to the way that it was before you've also got the option to select backgrounds for uh, anything coming up later so let's uh, add in that yellow background i can include some text on that slide maybe um, to add to my video and you've also got the audio option here so if you wanted to add uh, soundtracks music sound effects then you can do that uh, here in the audio section and you can record voiceovers here, you can um, film or take a photo of something straight from your device to add into iMovie. And then you've got your basic controls here, just going back to the start and playing. And I'm just using my um, trackpad here, but you can swipe as well just to kind of navigate along the timeline there. 
Um, you can also, if you've got music, you can choose whether you see that kind of uh, sound part of your timeline there as well. And then finally, you've got settings here at the top where you might want to add uh, filters, choose a different theme for your movie, and then you can, uh, you've got a few different options here as well. So that's just a basic kind of summary of how iMovie works, how to get started on a project. As I said, we're gonna go into more detail about how to create a movie um, from scratch as we've just started to look at there, but we'll dive deeper into the features and how to create and edit a movie in our future videos. So thanks for joining, I'll see you next time.